Hey guys, I actually just filmed the video, but I really don't like how it came out, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna like how it came out. So I'm just gonna make an extra video just in case, and if both come out fine, then yeah. But that explains why I'm wearing the same clothes or whatever. But um, the video that I uh, filmed was a full face using my favorites, but then I ended up messing up my makeup, and I really didn't like it, and right now it's messed up. But hopefully you can't really tell. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is my favorite brow and lash products because I feel like brows and lashes are the most important look. You could have nothing on your face but have brows and lashes and you are good. So I'm going to go from everything to brushes to uh, concealers for your brows, um, dip brows, brow pencils, all this and all that. So let's just get on to today's video. I'm from Gray Street, where we G slide. G slide and hit your Ricky, yes. Sweet Shay Shay, would you be mine? So, first with lashes, I have this little like thing that's in my vanity that I have with mascaras. I decluttered a lot of my mascaras, so these are just some of them. Um, these are just my favorites, the ones I kept. So, I'm gonna go in and start off with. First, eyelash curlers. I like the Tarte eyelash curler, it's really good. You could also find really affordable ones at the drugstore. For example, the e.l.f. one is really good as well. Just as well as this one. I just feel like this one's a little bit more easier. I feel like you should invest in like a Tarte eyelash curler. They're like $17. But if you don't want to, I feel like there's a lot of other ones. There's a lot of other ones at the drugstore, but I just haven't tried yet. So that's the eyelash curler I use, but I'm pretty sure you could find another one. Just have to be careful make sure you don't. They're not bad like and they don't rip out your lashes because i know the elf one does so step one to eyelashes first you eyelash curl and then i never knew i needed something like this mascara primer this keeps my mascara on for way longer than it usually would without it it doesn't really do anything to make my lashes longer i feel like it's the l'oreal voluminous primer and it looks like this and it's kind of dirty and i have like mascara all over my hands because that tends to happen every time i do my makeup but it's really good and I really like it. So basically it's just white like this and you do a coat on your lashes before mascara and, it be, and then your lashes look all white. You wait for it to dry and turn like so then your lashes are not white. Duh. And then you continue to put on your mascara. And I feel like it's just really good and I feel like everybody should try a lash primer or like mascara primer. And I feel like it would really help you. So now for lengthening your brows um first i'm gonna say the benefit roller lash is really good for lengthening your brows and it really makes them longer and separated especially with like this type of spoolie i'm gonna show all my thin spoolies first this is what the spoolie looks like and it's like really thin as you can see and it's slightly curved I feel like this mascara is really good and I use this almost every day and this is a super curling and lifting mascara so it lifts your lashes up. Another one which is really inexpensive is the Wet n Wild Omega Length Mascara and the bristles are also really thin and it's really good if you do bottom lash mascara but I personally don't like bottom lash mascara. It's not my cup of tea at all. I feel like it just drags my eyes down instead of waking me up, you know? You know, you know, I don't really like it. Another good mascara for like with the thin is the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara by L'Oreal. But basically it just looks like this and it makes your lashes look really long and I really like it. I feel like I would, but I wouldn't use this mascara alone. I would have to use a volumizing mascara as well. I don't know what the claims are for this one. But yeah, it just looks like this. A good mascara for making your lashes look more full is the Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. And it looks like this. And there's a lot of bristles on there make so that your lashes get very separated. And this is really good. Um, not sure what brand this is. Pretty sure it's L'Oreal. But it's, it just looks like this. And it's the Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. Like... Now on to more volumizing mascaras. I really like the, the false Maybelline um, Volume Express Mascara. It works really good and it does give your eyelashes a really like nice fluttery look. The falsies like this name just really intrigued me so I decided to use it. But the only downside to this mascara is that the 
applicator is very flimsy that's the only thing i don't like but i feel like overall it works really good and i do recommend this mascara and this is from maybelline so these this next this my favorite mascara is the lash sensational mascara by maybelline and it just looks like this so i have two of them one is almost done and then this one is not almost done but this really just volumizes your lashes it gives it a really like they make them really long very volumized very nice and last is a more expensive mascara i only have two expensive mascaras um because i feel like it's mascara is one thing that you do not have to go to the like a like sephora for because you can find really good drugstore dupes that work exactly the same if you're gonna go to like the sephora for like a really nice foundation or something like that that's understandable but mascara i feel like you really don't have to go high end with at all and this is the damn girl Too faced mascara it's very volumizing it's really nice packaging i can tell you that this is like really um the bristles are really big as you can see like super super big and yeah i just feel like this is a good mascara overall i'm glad that i bought it but like i'm kind of scared to use it because it was like 25 dollars, and that's kind of expensive for a mascara in my opinion now for bottom lashes i like using the maybelline clear mascara i started off by using this on my top lashes but then i just used it on my bottom lashes i feel like this is just like it's a it gives you a whole different look and i have it on my eyelashes right now it makes your lashes really long and it doesn't really make them look wet once they once they're dry but i feel like it's really good for bottom lashes when you don't want to like smudge at the bottom or like just to give you more brighter look because when i put mascara on my bottom lashes i personally feel like i don't like how it looks because it drags my eyes down but yeah so those are my favorite mascaras in here well i didn't show you guys all of them but those are just like my favorites so now for brow pencils if that is your cup of tea for your brows <clears throat> I really like using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's just really defined and it comes with a brush and it's like really small so it's easy to work with, easy to shape. But then for filling in your brows, it's a little bit more hard because it's so thin. So I feel like for shaping your brows, this is good. But for filling them in, you should probably find a different one. And the different one that I usually like when I used to do my eyebrows with brow um, pencil is I used to use the elf one to fill in my brows. So I use this in dark brown and then this one in neutral brown um but this is just like it comes pointy but then it duels out and it ends up being like a like a thick colored pencil instead of a colored pencil you know it also comes with the spoolie on one side and these are this is only two dollars while the honest one is 20 but you could also use the nyx one the nyx one is an exact replica of this the formula is a little bit different but um, it's really really workable um or the elf precise brow you could also get that one i'm pretty sure that the elf precise brow pencil is like four dollars so it's really not a big difference so i would get like the brow the elf precise brow pencil and then this six dollars for both of them rather than like 20 four ish dollars for both of them you know so you can it's really easy nyx i'm pretty sure is more expensive and they, but all i know is they look the exact same like i've seen them side by side and they look the exact same so there's a lot of like drugstore dupes for these but yeah these are the brow pencils that i have now for clear brow gels for my clear brow gels i've tried the um elf one but i honestly don't really like it it's really cheap and it's like it's doable but my favorite one are the nyx brow control freak eyebrow gel they're really good i had the um anastasia one before and honestly this is a really close replica to it i feel like it has a, around the same like shape and it lasts a lot longer than the elf ones because the elf ones like they're gone so easily because the little tubs are so little and just not not it for me but yeah those are those now if you're more of a tinted brown girl type person i like the anastasia dip brow brow gel it's pretty good i like it for when i'm like gonna leave really quick or like whatever or i like running through with a um dip brow gel when i like do my makeup and you know like sometimes like you get powder on your eyebrows and you like or there's like white all over them so just going over with a tinted brow gel just to like make sure it's all 
off but another a good dupe for this is the nyx tinted brow mascara i've had this for super long my mom got it for me one and i really like it i don't really use tinted brow gels that much anymore but it's a really good brow gel i feel like this is so super thick so you have to be careful with it but i feel like this is a little bit more like beginner friendly and you could just run through your eyebrows real quick so yeah um i got this one in espresso and then this one is in dark brown because it came with my brow pencil now for dip brows and dip brow brushes so i have the anastasia dip brow in dark brown and it's really good i really like the consistency it's really smooth the only thing is that it doesn't really come with that much product and it's 22 dollars. so i feel like the cat one d one comes with a lot more and i want to try that one next but after i ran out of this one i kind of like stopped using this one because i'm kind of scared so i only use it when i'm going out not when i'm just like doing my makeup for fun um so yeah this is really good i really like the smoothness the next one i've tried but it's super chalky super ugly i don't like how the next one works at all and it comes with like no product but what i do think is a drugstore dupe for is the milani dip brow and this one is in dark brown um and it just it comes with a little bit as well but it's just like it comes in a glass jar which is really nice and it comes with a brush as well and i feel like it's just like they literally like almost look the same too except for this one's a little bit bigger but this is drugstore and then this one has milani in the front and then this one has anastasia beverly hills in the front so as you can see here they're like all really similar but i feel like this one is really creamy really nice and i really like it and it works just as well as the Anastasia one. So if you want a little drugstore dupe, this one's pretty good. Um, the Milani one does come with a brush, but I don't use the brush. Um, I've never used it. It looks like a really nice brush though. I feel like you could use this brush because it's really like fine pointed. And I feel like you could really use this brush, but I already have a brush. That's the only reason I don't use it. I have actually a lot of brushes for my brows. This one is first one of my favorite ones because this spoolie just blends out the dip brow so, so good. So you can literally fill in your whole brows and then just like spoolie through the top right here. And it'll give you the perfect ombre effect. And I really like how this is really different. This um, like brush is really new and you could really like just like go really quickly and just get it in there just like that. And it stays really flat so it's like really good for a precise line. Another good one is from the same brand. I actually have two of these, um, but one's dirty, so I'm going to show you guys my clean one. This is how it looks. And then this is the spoolie. The spoolie doesn't really blend out that well. Like, as you can see, the spoolies look different. This is the one that blends out well, and this is the one that doesn't really. So, yeah, but these are both really good ones. And then another good one that's more affordable is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Duo. And it just looks like this, and it's pretty good. It has a spoolie, and then it has a little synthetic, I mean, not synthetic, white hair brush at the top. So these are all really good, but I feel like what's the most worth your money is the Milani dip brow because it comes with the brush, and it looks like a really nice brush, actually. It looks like this, the spoolie would work well, too. And it also comes with a dip brow, so I feel like it's the most one the one that makes the most sense in my opinion if you're starting off with dip brow so obviously with dip brow you have to conceal your brows i used to use this concealer brush all the time it's literally it used to be white but now it's my concealer color but i really just feel like the hair started sticking up a lot and i used to like mess up my brows all the time when i was concealing them so i switched to this sonia one that i've had for super super long this is one of my first makeup brushes um I used to use it for my inner corner highlight, but now I repurposed it for, because I have another inner corner highlighter brush, I repurposed it for my concealer, and it's really good, and I feel like you can get a really precise line of your brows, and it works really good. I feel like the brushes that you use also really matter, um, because like I said, I used to use my other brush, and it just wasn't really doing me good. Then I like to blend out my... Then I like to blend out my concealer before I blend it out with the um, beauty blender. And I like to use this blending eye brush from e.l.f. It just looks like this. And I'm just like going like blending it all in before I just like pat it all in my skin with the beauty blender. It helps a lot, especially like with blending. It saves you a lot of time if you just use a blending brush or you could use a concealer brush. Um, but yeah, this works really good and I recommend. And all these products are pretty affordable. And if they're not, then I give you guys like alternatives. So yeah. The only um, 
concealer that I use for my brows, which doesn't really matter, but it's just super creamy, super nice. Is the Master Conceal Camouflage Concealer 20 Light. I only use this for my brows. I actually already went through a whole tub, tub, tube of this, and I'm on my second one now. And I repurchased this, so that tells you guys a lot. That it's really good. I really like it, and I feel like you guys would like it too. Um, I feel like another really good one is probably the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I personally don't like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because it creases a lot under my eyes, but I feel like for brows, it's really nice. I actually started using this one when I first did my brows. Another good one is the LA Pro Conceal Concealer. A lot of people have talked about this. I personally just like really like thin, smooth, light coverage foundations. I mean, um, concealers for my brows. So these are all really thin, light coverage concealers that I feel like would work really, or that work really good on your brows. So if you're looking for a concealer, this is the way to go. I also feel like having a little BB blender is really, really cool or really nice for just blending out your brows since you so that you don't really like get a lot of your excess from your beauty blender on your brows you know what i'm saying so i feel like that's really good as well thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoy and if you guys are seeing this video then my other video didn't go out well but i will film it again but i hope you guys found like what you guys were looking for and i hope that you guys either want to try out a new brow product from here or a new mascara from this video hopefully i helped you out a little bit i have tried let me know your guys' favorite mascara or brow product is or just anything like anything that has to do with lashes or brows i don't use false lashes so i couldn't tell you that but if you have a favorite um false lashes brand then let me know anyways i hope you guys have an amazing day and i love you guys so much and thank you for all the support that you love. you love, let me feel that you love. Feel love. You show me, girl. Love me. They got love for a